Welcome to the third party Transformer news for Retro Robot Radio for the date of January 3rd, 2015. Happy New Year! Alright, Bad Cube has been showing off some more images of their upcoming War Dog figure, who's supposed to be their version of a masterpiece uh, Warpath. There's been some argument among fans, you know, surprise there, that uh, what size this should be. Should Warpath be the size of, say, Masterpiece Bumblebee, or should he be like the size of an Autobot car, which is usually how he was depicted in the TV show. I'm going to guess that they're going to make this about a Voyager size, a bit bigger than their Ronnie and Backland figures, and so that would make it a Voyager, probably standing eye-to-eye to eye with Prowl, but we'll have to see what happens when it comes out. Uh, according to the manufacturers, we'll be seeing the first test shots of this later this month. Belzy Boss has shown off some more images of their Mad Machine, an immobilizer accessory for Masterpiece Wheeljack that'll be coming out soon, and also another piece, it's a little add-on for the Generations Nightbeat figure that gives it a chest that looks more like the original G1 toy. Dr. Wu has shown off some uh, package art images of their upcoming new partner set, the set of replacement heads for the exosuit that comes with Masterpiece Bumblebee. You have to get two of these if you want to make both characters, of course, but uh, some people have already started selling those on eBay, so check it out there. Iron Factory showed off the test shots of their upcoming Blaster, Steeljaw, and Ramhorn inspired figures. As you can see here, they each kind of transform into a tank. There's Blaster, and there's the uh, Steeljaw. And the two animals will, of course, combine into a throne for Blaster to sit on. Mastermind Creations showed off their Sphinx figure, who is a masterpiece version of Mirage. There have been, been much debate uh, lately, especially about his head, uh, as to whether or not that's how people want to see it as a toy. But, you know, you got two choices. You got this and you got the DX9 one. So pick one and uh, enjoy. Or if you're like me, you already have your Classics Mirage, and that's pretty much what you wanted. Mastermind Creation also showed off uh, some nearly finished images of their Cynicus figure, who is one of their uh, DJD-inspired figures. I think this is a guy named Voss who transforms into a rifle. And as you can see, here's his alt mode. Perfect Effect showed off a set of hands and feet for the Combiner Wars figures. Actually, these are just on 5mm pegs. People were all, oh my god, how did they make this so fast? Well, geez, they're 5mm pegs. They could have built them after they saw the first photograph of the uh, Combiner Wars figured and pretty much finished before they came out. Uh, but uh, yeah, these are a articulated set of hands and a nice set of feet for the Combiners. I'm assuming they're going to come out in different colors for S Superion and uh, Menasaur and maybe some others. And yes, they all transform. Each of the hands turns into a pistol, and each of the feet split apart into these little chain guns. Or miniguns, whatever you want to call them. And they do combine into the uh, alt modes as well. So you'll end up with some really heavily armored Combiner Wars figures. Perfect Effect also showed off uh, two of its upcoming figures that are about ready for release. Deathstalker and something or other that I can't read again. And these are miniature versions of Scorponok and Black Zarek. Uh, they actually are working headmasters, and they transform into scorpion modes. I don't think they have a city mode, at least not that I've seen. But as you can see here, we have their uh, robot modes. And the heads, I'm told, actually work on the uh, G1 toys. So you can use these as replacement heads and just toss the little deformed bodies if you want. And these will be the same heads that come out on the full-sized version of the figures that aren't super deformed that'll be coming out later, which is kind of cool. And here's the alt modes. 
Planet X showed off its upcoming figure who is based on Fall of Cybertron Slug, the Space Triceratops. You can see him compared to their Neptune figure, who is in robot mode. And he has a uh, rifle and sword accessory. And here's a little sample of what the uh, Space Dinosaur mode will look like. Ladies and gentlemen, now approaching the field of battle, hailing from the planet Yersley and weighing in at 295 kilos, the mighty muscularly son of testosterone. That's right. Play With This 2 has some more promotional images of some of the stuff that's going to be coming out of their Kickstarter this February, which is next month. And the figure they're promoting now is the Mighty Musculi, Son of Testosteros. And this is a figure that's heavily inspired by the Generation 1 Decepticon Pretender Stranglehold. Uh, in their fiction, they're promoting him as a space wrestler whose personality is heavily inspired by Hulk Hogan. And they've been having a lot of fun with this figure. Kind of uh, uh, just having a little fun with the wrestling stereotypes and showing this promotional uh, poster. So if you're interested in this though, this will be a Kickstarter exclusive. So if you want to get in on Musculies and have him help complete your set of uh, Stranglehold, Octopunch, and Bludgeon, you're going to need to get on that Kickstarter. Some TFC Toys uh, Knockoffs have been showing up in, out of China recently. These are versions of the uh, Uranus Combiner, one of the arms and one of the legs. Uh, I'm told that the uh, jet there is their version of Slingshot where, on the left, whereas the one on the right is kind of like a combination of both the Air Raid and the Skydive's molds. So, you know what? These are also oversized quite a bit, almost the size of a Masterpiece Starscream. But uh, they're also selling for about 10 bucks in shipping, so if you want to have some uh, cheap figures to putz around with, do customizing, or you're just never going to be able to afford the real Uranus Combiner, this might be something you want to get in on. Also, a second uh, company uh, has been found to be doing a version of the TFC Hercules, and this is also going to be a low-cost Chinese uh, import. So we're going to be getting news on that soon. According to the Taobao sources I found, it should be coming out next month. Uh, here you can see the alt modes on the figure. X2 Toys has shown in package and final product images of their rotor and furrow. Furrow is a tri-wheels top gear, and rotor is a light velocity fighter. And the package, you can see, is very mid to late G1 uh, inspired. And one of the cool things they showed off is that the two figures and their little transforming uh, Ravage inspired figure all combine. So you can have your jet car, uh, lion, gun thingy. Yes, you know, because those are cool. Some updates on my YouTube channel since my last episode. I've posted three new uh, Chinese reviews. One is of Space Brave Strong Storm and Rail Storm, which are the oversized knockoffs of the Uranus limbs. Another one is a review of the DX9 Warren Pocket Metal Lance and Plague. That's their versions of Ratchet and uh, Scourge. And the third one is a review of the Age of Extinction Evasion Optimus, Galvatron, and Hound knockoff figures that are coming out of China. So if you want to check those out, they're online on my YouTube channel. This week's screen capture is of the animated cyborg superhero, 8-Man. This week's news brought to you from the pages of tformers.com and TFW2005, news read by Matthew Ignash, stop by wikialpha.org to read more about third-party Transformers, Check out the Facebook page of the Third Party TF Crashers, and then come on by the Retro Robot Radio YouTube channel and subscribe.